Hey guys, Tom Blanche here and welcome back to my channel and today as you can tell by the title we are playing with the Curses and Hexes palette from iHeart Revolution. Absolutely love these palettes. Obviously if you saw my haul, if you didn't I will link it up above so you can find it. I got the two palettes from iHeart Revolution which were the Book of Spells palettes. This one is the Curses and Hexes and the other one is Love Spells. This is the first of my looks. Um, Thoughts on the palette? Absolutely love it. I used about three or four different colours from this palette. Um, I did think that I was going to go for something a little bit darker and smokier, um, but the purples just screamed my name, so I had to use them. Um, but yeah, I really, really like how this turned out. The shadows are beautiful. They are easy to blend. They are... The pigment is real, though, guys. Like, um, my thoughts on the pigment is... It's stunning. So, if you would like to see how I created this Curses and Hexes look, then carry on watching. Right guys, so obviously this entire look is based on the Curses and Hexes palette and the first colour we're going to go in to set the eyelid is the shade Misfortune. Um, I did sort of cut my brow out and add a bit of concealer to my uh, eyelid just to start it off and I'm just going to set it with Misfortune. And now we're going into the shade Jinx, this gorgeous purple shade, a little definitely goes a long way with this. And we're just going to pack it into the crease and bring it not all the way along, like we're going to blend it out slowly, but you'll see, we'll pack it onto the crease and then we will blend it out. Um, I do do multiple brushes as you will see as we go on. Um, if you would like to know specific brushes, because you guys know that I love my Spectrum brushes uh, and I use those quite a lot. So if you'd like to know the code names on the brushes, just let me know in the comments and when I do my next tutorial, I will let you know what the brushes are called. Um, again, now I'm going to this other Spectrum brush, which is a bigger, fluffier brush for my blending and I'm just blending it up towards the brow. Again, I haven't showed the full process of this this time because it does take a while as you guys know, but you just pack on and build up until you're happy. And now we're going to cut the eyelid. We're not going to, we're going to, not going to do a cut crease, we're going to just cut the entire lid out uh, and we are using the Revolution um, Halo Cut Crease Canvas. Just cut the entire lid and get you, it just gives you a nice base and a nice even straight line. For the next colour, which is Haunt, and we're going to apply that not to the entire lid, just like three quarters of the way and leave the outer corner free for the next colour. Really, really pretty shade. It works so well with the purple, this shade. It's so pretty. Now we're going into the shade Poison, which is a gorgeous, like, pinky, sort of purpley sort of shade. So pretty, has a shimmer to it. You will have seen the swatches, they're amazing. But we're just going to apply that to the outer corner and blend it out. I wanted to use as many colours as I possibly could for this look just so that I could get something like, you know, so I could just show you guys how diverse all the colours are. And I think I did alright, I got a few colours going. Now we're going to the XX Revolution Flix Liner. I love this liner, it is so good. If you, you know, struggle with a wing, the eye shields alone will help you. If you get some eye shields, they're cheap enough on Amazon, they just make an, a wing so much easier to do. It's like, whoosh, it's done. So yeah, I'm just going to apply the wing. Now we're going to do the other eye take off the eye shields and we have a nice wing and now we're going into these stargazer stars now I haven't shown you the whole process of this because I applied about six stars on each eye um, but I'm just putting some eyelash glue on and then putting a star over the top and I've just sort of put it where the eyeshadow diffuses up towards the brow because um, I'm old so my eyelids are a little bit uh, saggy so I had to put it up a little bit higher but it works and it looks good fiddly job but so worth it it looked so good afterwards we're going to do the other eye like magic and now we're going to curl our lashes 
Once we've done that, we're going into a MAC mascara. I have no idea what this one is. It just says MAC on the tube. <laughs> Once we've done that to our upper lashes, we've put our base on and we're going back into the Curses and Hexes palette and into the shade Ghoulish, which is this gorgeous blue shade. And my husband suggested that I put it into the lower lash line. So I did, and it worked out really well. So I just put that on, smoked it out, and it looks really good. Once I've done that, I've just got an Avon black eyeliner and I've done the waterline. Now we're going back into the MAC mascara to do our lower lashes. And now I decided to sort of uh, make like a sort of inner wing, like a point on the inner corner of the eye. Um, I've just shown you the process of how I did it. It's a little bit fiddly, but if, if you go careful and use this liner, it's so much easier. Um, so it, it just made the look a little bit more vampy. So I really liked how it turned out. Now we're going into the Oyster Highlighter from Spectrum. Such a pretty glow. And we're going to put some lashes on from Letterbox Lashes in the style Queen. I am a brand rep. The link for them is below and you get a discount off your first subscription box. Um, now we're putting on lipstick and this is the Sugar Pill lipstick in the shade Zero. Love this black lipstick. Highly recommend it. If you want a good black lipstick, this is the one you should definitely try out. It's so good and it smells amazing. Once lips are on, we need a wig. And that looks so much better. And that is the finished look, guys. That is it. It is a nice, simple, easy look. I just wanted to add a little bit of something different by putting the little star. I don't know if they will pick up on camera uh, when I'm applying them. Hopefully, you guys can see them. But I did put some like glittery, rainbowy, iridescent stars all above my eye line, like just below my brow, where my eyeshadow ends. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit of something different, make it a little bit more spooky, dooky, Halloweeny. I don't know. I just thought I'd do something of my own and add my own spin on it but I really really love this palette like I said at the beginning the pigment is beautiful you do not need to add a lot to get the payoff especially with this purple shade it is absolutely gorgeous um yeah so I really really rate this palette it is beautiful I love the pigment I love the shadows I think the love spells palette which is over there uh, the love spells palette will probably be a favorite um out of the two but if you like your dark smoky eyes and you like a darker sort of vibe, then this is the palette that you will love. You will love this palette, especially my goth girls out there, you will probably really love this palette. And it's only £12 and on offer at the minute for two, well, the two for £20. So you could have, so you could have both of these for £20. But if you love a dark smoky look, then this is definitely going to be something you want in your collection. So that is my look and my thoughts on the palette from My Heart Revolution. You should totally go and check it out. I will put the link down below so you can hop directly over and purchase this bad boy if you are wanting it. But I highly recommend it, it's really pretty and it looks like a spell book. Yes, I love it. So that being said, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe and see what else there is to come. The thing I was waiting for that I mentioned in my previous haul video, the thing that I was waiting for for my giveaway has finally arrived. So I will be announcing my giveaway probably in the next week or so. So you should totally subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will know when I've uploaded the giveaway because it's gonna be a good one. You should totally subscribe and see what's in the giveaway. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you have a great day, night, morning, evening, whatever you do when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.